Edward Jenner, the British physician who uh, popularized uh, smallpox vaccination in the late 1700s, is a name that has not been lost to history. Uh, but less well known is Dr. Benjamin Waterhouse, who could well be called the American Jenner for bringing vaccination to the United States. Now, it had been done by uh, George Washington to uh, inoculate the troops against smallpox uh, in the mid-1770s. And also, it had actually gone back to the early 1700s in Boston to stave off an outbreak of smallpox there. But by 1796, Brenner's work was uh, proven without doubt that this uh, was a remarkable way uh, to prevent uh, the onset of smallpox. Benjamin Waterhouse brought it to the United States, but not many people not only know Waterhouse, but they also may not realize that he gave arguably the first lecture on smoking and the dangers of smoking uh, in, the, in the United States. This was a public lecture uh, delivered at the close of the medical course in the chapel at Cambridge at Harvard University on November 20th, 1804 on the general doctrine of chronic disease showing the evil tendency of the use of tobacco upon young persons, more especially the pernicious effects of smoking cigars, with observations also on the use of ardent and vinous spirits in general. Uh, this remarkable book uh, I was able to acquire through a book dealer in Massachusetts. It has been rebound, but this is the actual uh, uh, first printing in January of 1805 of the uh, lecture that he had given two months earlier in the chapel at Cambridge. And he almost gets it right. He uh, talks about taking all your cigars and burning them on the quad. And why? Because it's not really good for your health. And how is it not good for your health? He was mainly concerned about the digestive system. And I don't think he was that far off because if you compare people who smoke and people who don't, the level of peptic ulcer disease is far greater in those who smoke and there are other conditions as well. But he talks about the importance of every organ. He talks about the heart and the arteries and the, and the lungs. And, and he, he connects them, though, to the digestive system more uh, than the other systems. But I think that we have Benjamin Waterhouse to thank for warning medical students to hear about the dangers of smoking, um, perhaps for the first time in a course of any medical school in the United States.